Hey guys, welcome back to Taisha's Cuisine. Today I have a topic that I would love to share with all the young people out there. I know you out there, I know you need wisdom, I know you are looking for, you know, someone to encourage you. And uh, what I want to share with you today is very important. It's my life experience. So right now my neighbors are playing loud music. My kids are making a lot of noise, so excuse me if you hear noise in the background. I'm not trying to make this video perfect. I'm just trying to get this point out there. This might be for young women out there. I'm not sure if um, some young men will find this useful, but this is for young, beautiful women out there and you find yourself in a lonely place, okay? So I want you to know you're not alone. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. So don't give up, okay? Be encouraged, don't give up because I myself, I'm in my 30s right now and I can tell you it was not always that easy for me. I've been through some tough time, some of the worst time of my life. And that's why I don't care what's going on right now, I feel in my spirit to share this video with you guys. Um, so... I was in my 20s, early 20s. I, I think I probably was 21, actually 20. Um, in my third years of college, I find myself homeless. I know some of you right now probably think there's no way this could be true. I find myself homeless when I was in my 20s, third years of college, um, and I literally had nowhere to go. I was homeless literally for I know you're going to think this is funny, but if you spend five hours in a day and you don't know where you're going to lay your head, this is homeless, okay? You are homeless. If you, even one, even for one hour, if you think about one hour and you don't know where you're going to lay, lay your head for the, for the night, you're homeless, okay? So I just want to thank God that he made a way and I was homeless for... I would say a good five hours and I didn't know what I was going to do but thank God I have other family members who opened their doors for me and I was able to stay with my um, one of my aunties this was a whole new experience for me I was in tears I was um, you know confused and I was in a dark place all right and I know some of you could probably relate to me right now that's the purpose. That's the reason why I'm making this video because I don't want anyone, any one of you who find yourself in a dark place to give up on life, okay? Like I explained to you guys, I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I know that I had to drop out of college because I was not going to be able to continue with my studies, you know, to continue with, you know, financially, I was not in a good place. So at that time, I said to myself, hey, girl, you get to pick up yourself find something to do to bring some income to take care of yourself so things so things wouldn't get even harder okay so i understand there's a lot of girls you know they they are growing up in a the world they think everything's gonna always be easy they are waiting for a charming or prince charming to come save them in real life there's no prince charming who's going to save your life okay you better be prayed up you better cry unto god and call and search and pray for answers so at that time i literally had to stop going to college I needed something to do to bring, you know, a quick, quick income for myself. So at that time, what I did, I um, went to, uh, I took a year program um, and that helped me tremendously. I went um, to a year program and I studied um, health claim specialists. Okay. So I did it for one year and uh, I managed to... Uh, get my certificate as a health claim specialist. My goal was to become a manager at a healthcare facility because I love to, um, you know, help people and um, it's my passion, right? But at that time, I had to put that goal away because I needed to do something quick. So my um, advice for those of you who are, you know, going through something really ridiculous in your life and you don't know what to do. So my advice for you, don't throw a pity party for yourself and waiting for a charming prince or prince charming to come save you. Um, this is not Disney World. This is the real world where you have to work your butt off and pick yourself up. Don't wait for someone to come pick you up. 
um, figure it out. If you have to do something quick, just like I did, um, you know, it doesn't mean you have to um, totally quit on school because school is very important. I encourage you to continue to, you know, somehow um, keep going to school because it's when you have knowledge, nobody can take that away from you. Okay. So, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there, they waiting for a man to come save them. This is not Disney World. I, I, I feel bad for parents who are raising their children out there, making them think that, uh, they have to believe in a, a charming prince or Prince Charming, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, to come save them. Girl, you need to build yourself up, okay? Um, yes, you can be homeless, but don't be discouraged because at the end of the day, this is life. So at 20 years old, when I find myself in that tough situation, um, thank God for my aunt who, you know, she opened her door for me and uh, she took me there. And I can tell you, this this was like very huge for me i started to learn a lot how to stand on my own you know how to you know like it, it was this time was supposed to be a dark time but i i chose not to be you know negative about it so after i received my um my certificate i was you know i was proud i was proud that at least i didn't give up on life um, you know, when, when, when you're facing tough situation, it's easy to just, you know, make bad decisions, right? Um, and that's when, uh, your life can end up being in a whole mess. So when you don't think things through because you are in a dark place, doesn't mean you have to make quick decisions. Don't go to a man asking for money, you know, do, do crazy things or, you know, put your guard down, um, you know, uh, put your self esteem down, put your values and, 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 you know, don't do that. So try to pick yourself up, um, whatever th that you have to do, invest in yourself um, even if you have to borrow to 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 uh, make sure that you go to school, do something quick and get yourself out of the mess. All right. So I say that to say um, because there are a lot of people out there, a lot of young women out there who are wasting themselves just because they are in a dark place. You are beautiful. You are worth much more than the bad decision. You are you have a future. You have a beautiful future. Don't give someone else your power. When you, um, when you are desperate, it is easy to go make a bad decision. When I was homeless for a few hours, you know, of course the devil's going to think, you know, start talking in your ears, you know, telling you, you could do this, you could do that. You know, you, you, you're beautiful. You can do this. You can do that. But don't let your guard down because once you do that, it's going to be, you know, a thousand times harder to, to get out of this hole. So don't wait on a charming prince or prince charming. Please correct me if I'm saying this wrong. This is the real world. Um, I grew up in Haiti in a house, in a big house full of women. And I thank God uh, that they give me some core values. Um, they were teachers, you know, these women, they, my aunties, my cousin, I, I, I never saw them, you know, waiting for a man to, uh, to, to, to just come save their lives. I, I, I saw, uh, well, growing up, I, I saw that these women, they wake up every morning, they make sure they go to school, they make sure they, you know, uh, they, they go to work in Haiti and Haiti is a poor country. And I think this is huge for you mothers out there who are raising your children. Don't make them think that they have to rely on a man. Sometimes I talk to younger women and they're like, oh, I'm just waiting for a rich man. Girl, you can go get rich yourself. Like, why would you put your power in, you know, in someone else's hand? Why do you have to wait on someone who has money to come save you? Why don't you go and go, go out there and make your own money? You know how beautiful that is? So by the time I was 26, so I told you I, you know, I find myself in a dark place when I was 20. By the time I was 26, I was ready for marriage, okay? So my husband and I, we've been dating for a very long time. 
Um, he, he's been with me through thick and thin. When I tell you this man, he's been with me through thick and thin. Even though I was going through some a tough time, he was still there for me. Okay, he was there. We were young, and we said we said we have to wait and do things the right way. When you do things the right way, there's a blessing. Okay, I was <laughs> I was young. I, you know, we 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 were together for a very long time. You know, anything bad could have happened. But when you have values, when you have um, uh, the fear of the Lord is huge. When you have that, you don't make terrible decisions to find yourself in a worst in the worst worst you know possible situation. So he's been with me through thick and thin. So by the time I was 26, um, <laughs> I praise God for that. I was able to have a stable job. Um, you know, uh, before, even before I got married, I ended up having my own apartment. So this is the thing uh, when I'm saying, don't wait on a, a Prince Charming, you know, there's no men out there who's, <laughs> I don't know about Disney world, but there's no man out there who's going to chase a woman who's, who's just not ready. <laughs> a lot of, uh, you young women out there, you're waiting for a man to save you. The real man wants someone who is stable mentally, emotionally, physically, um, you know, in all areas. Some of you are saying, where's my charming prince? There's no charming prince chasing you because you need, you need to work on yourself. While you're still single, it's the time to spend uh, on yourself, to work on yourself. Make sure spiritually you're there. Make sure mentally you're there. Emotionally you're there. So when someone comes to you and talk to you, you don't just, you know, lose it. Um, you don't go into a relationship with your heart. You need to bring your mind with you because uh, the heart is deceiving. So if you're just, you know, your your heart is ready, but everything else is chaos, um, you best believe it. You get into a relationship. It's not going to last. That's why a lot of people are going from relationship to relationship. You know, like that's why a lot of you, you've been wasting your time dating so many men. I think it's it's the, it's about time that you pause Put the dating on pause and, and look within yourself to see, okay, something is not right because I'm dating too many people. Something is not right. Let me see if I can work on myself. You don't have to be in a relationship, you know, to be happy. You need to find happiness yourself. So when someone else, and guess what? When you're happy, when you're joyful, you'll attract the right man. But if you're desperate, who, who do you think you're going to attract? So guys... I am sharing my tips with you because I, I wish that there would be more people out there speaking into those young women's lives. Uh, you know, like you are beautiful. Yes, you may find yourself in a tough situation. Like I said, I was 20 years old and I was homeless and, and I made sure I didn't do something stupid. You know, um, I praise God for that. And I am begging you. If you find yourself in a tough situation, don't quickly make decision. Pause. Call someone who will give you good advice. If you know someone is not going to give you good advice, don't call that person. All right? If someone's going to tell you, girl, you're on your own. You better you better go do this, go do that so you can eat. Oh, you know? And then you eat and then what? And then you find yourself in a tough situation. So my advice for you. First thing, there's no such thing as a Prince Charming who's going to come on a horse and save you. You need to pick up yourself and make things work. Believe in God. That's the, I, Listen, don't believe in anyone. You know, everybody going to tell you, word is cheap. People will tell you all sort of things. But the only person you can believe in is God. So believe in God and pick yourself up. Um, and invest in yourself mentally, spiritually, invest in yourself emotionally, and then things will work out. You know, dark days, no matter what days that you're going through, the sun will rise. The sun will rise and things will get better. Now I look back, I look back with everything that I went through, uh, you know, all the crying days, all the tears that I used to shed. I look back, I'm like, oh my gosh. Had I known that things were going to be good like that for me, I wouldn't worry that much. But you know, when you are in a situation like this, you are going to worry because you are a human being. But my advice is take a deep breath, okay? Pause 
and make the right decision. Life is not over. As long as you're breathing, there's hope. Okay. As long as you are alive, there's hope. Don't make the wrong decision and don't wait on a man. It's beautiful when you are stable. So like I said, by the time I was 26, I thank God for my family, my other um, family members who supported me uh, when I didn't know what I was going to do. I thank God for them. Uh, and, and I thank God for keeping me in the right place, in the right path. Um, so like I said, I, if you, if you can't finish, if you can't finish college at the right time, it's not the end of the world. If you find yourself in a situation that you have to quickly take a one year um, program, go ahead and do it. And guess what? A lot of one year program that people are thinking they're looking down on. I'm telling you, some of them, most of them are worth a lot, a lot of your money and they're worth of, they're worth your time because there are people, there are people with degrees out there who can't really find a good job. So <laughs> find out what field, especially I'm going to give you this advice right now. The medical field is the best. You don't have to be a nurse. You don't have to be a doctor, especially if you don't have a good support system. You can't, if you know, if you can go ahead and be a doctor, go ahead and be a lawyer, go ahead and be whoever you want to be. But if you are in a tough situation, like when I find myself, you know, at 20 and, and I, I didn't know what I was going to do. You know, if you find yourself in a tough situation, don't just give up on everything. Don't just give up on life. Uh, don't just give up on life. Find a program, and I would advise you to go into those healthcare program. If you are a man watching this video, I'm sorry, this is for women out there. If you are a man, go into you know IT. I like after health. I think IT, the IT technology is huge. Technology is huge. Go in technology. Um, find yourself a program where you know you can uh, you. After you're done, you're going to find a job and you're going to be able to keep a roof over your head. Because you know what? Having a roof over your head is huge. Um, I don't know that many people who's going to provide you a roof over your head. And you're like in your 20s, you're in your 30s, and you expect them to keep providing that roof for you. By the time you're 26, you need to... You need to get your stuff together. So I, I got married when I was 26. Um, and now I look back and I just thank God, like I've been through some tough time. That's why I make this video. So you guys, so you girls, you young women out there, don't wait on a man to rescue you. Pick up yourself. You know, when you're happy, when you're stable, you will attract the right person in your life. You will, you will attract the right person in your life. Even in, even, you know, if... <laughs> If I, if I want to start talking about, you know, spiritual things right now, even in the Bible, when you read, you know, the bride needs to be ready. <laughs> I don't understand where that, you know, mindset comes um, into place where women think that um, a man, they're waiting for the men to complete them. As a wife, even in the Bible, it says that the wife, the, the bride has to be ready for the groom. You know, you have to be ready. You have to be prepared. Um, you know, the Bible says, he who finds a wife, you know. <laughs> so you, you already have to have that wife quality about you to find that man who's going to propose to you and wants to be with you. If you don't have that quality already, forget it. You have, you have to be ready. Get ready mentally. Uh, for the most part, get ready spiritually because marriage is huge. You can't go into marriage without you being stable spiritually. You have to be in prayer emotionally. You have to be, you, you have to be ready. And then finance is huge. You can't build a family without being stable financially. Okay. So I hope this video helped you guys out there. If you are in a dark place, don't give up girl. You know, don't give up. Things are going to get better. Stay in prayer and pick yourself up. Don't wait on someone. You know, don't wait on it. Everybody's going through something. That's why you have to have your own back and pick up yourself. Whatever situation that you're going through, don't make any bad decisions. <laughs> Whatever that you are going through, someone else is probably going through something worse. 
So just pray. I know sometimes it's hard when you are facing dark situation to pray, but find a way to pray because prayer is you. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. As usual, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, this is um, the section where I talk about life topics. If you are new to this channel, uh, for the most part, I post a lot of Haitian recipes. Where are my Haitians at? Um, so look around, you'll find recipes. That's another reason why I, I make this channel to help young women out there. Um, you know, if you need advice on life, please put your comment down below. I'm here for you guys. If you need recipes, if you need, I'm a parent, I'm a mother, I'm a wife. Listen, if you need advice, I don't, I'm not going to give you the bad advice because I'm not the type of friend. I want to see you doing good in life, okay? So I hope this video was helpful. As usual, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider to subscribe, and I'll see you soon with more videos. Bye now.